Hi everyone, my name is Quinn and welcome to Building Cecropia. Last year I attended a program called the Cary High Nautical Sciences Program, which I quite thoroughly enjoyed. This year, that program sadly was cancelled and I was quite disappointed. Luckily I discovered a course option available at Cary High called an IDS, Independently Directed Study. I immediately jumped to the idea of building a hydrofoil sailboat because of my passion for sailing. So, what is a hydrofoil sailboat? It is practically the same as a normal sailboat, except underneath there are wings that lift the boat out of the water, greatly reducing the resistance, allowing the boat to travel at high speeds. The model that I am building is called a moth, due to its trampolines on the sides of the hull, making it look like an insect. I have named my boat Cecropia after a type of moth. So, to build this boat, there will be three main parts to building it. First being the hull, second part being the mast and rigging, and last being the dagger board and foils. The first part that I will be working on is the hull. The first step in building the hull is making a plug so we can build a mold around it. This involves cutting out a jig and some plywood sheets that fit together inside the jig, creating a plywood hull that we can lay a mold around. Once I've finished building the plug, I will need to cover it in fiberglass to make a mold so that I can lay the carbon fiber inside of the mold, forming it to the shape of the hull. We'll be doing a cross section right down the middle of the hull, so we have two halves of the hull that we can put together. I then will need to make some bulkheads and a dagger board slot to place inside the two halves of the hull before I seal them together. After that, all is left to do is to paint the hull to protect it from harmful UV rays. This project covers the practical applications of many different subjects in school, such as math, physics, chemistry, woodwork, metalwork, media and video, and more. I'd like to encourage other students to also take control of their learning and do something that they are passionate about. I believe this project is a community-based project because it's not possible without everyone around me here. I want to thank Windsor Plaid for giving me a great deal on my wood purchase and North Island College for letting me use their CNC. This project is made possible through the support of people and businesses in the community. If you are interested in helping me out with this project or want to get involved and have any ideas or suggestions, feel free to contact me through Facebook or through my email. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe, it helps me out a lot. And if you're interested in any of my blogs, you can follow them on my website. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.